What's up guys, it's Big Bear 77 back at you with a real quick video and I want to talk about a movie today and uh, in a movie review, Smurfs The Lost Village. Let's just get right into it. Okay guys, uh, let's just be honest, um, if you grew up watching the Smurfs, you're probably not the biggest, hugest fan of the mo movies. Um, let's just be honest, it usually happens that way anyways. Uh, it doesn't matter what movie it is. If there's a TV show you watched as a kid and you grew up with that TV show and, and the movie comes out, you're not the biggest fan. Now, you may like the movie, but it's not one that you would give a four-star review to a five-star review or something like that. Uh, Smurfs is just like that. Um, there's, there might be a few spo spoilers in here, but I highly doubt it. Um, you know, it, it's, uh, they find a whole other uh, group of Smurfs and it's a lost village and and you know they gargamel's after these smurfs and wanting to get these smurfs and um they have to end up working together to basically um defeat gargamel that's the basic uh gist of the whole thing it's kind of different it's uh you know it's it, it, it's smurf heads long um long long i guess you would say um this uh, thought process of does she really fit in with these smurfs or or you know she found another group of smurfs and by the way the other group of smurfs is women, uh, girl smurfs so i mean and smurf that's not really a smurf she was created by gargamel it goes through that whole process and, and her mindset there um i thought it was a very good movie uh in general but it was not it did not live up to the smurfs of old it did not live up to my expectations uh, and for that reason, I wasn't very pleased with it uh, in the end of it. So, um, that's how it goes. Um, would I recommend it? Probably not. But would I tell you to judge it for yourself? Yeah. Every movie I do a review on, just because I don't like it doesn't mean you won't like it. I would uh, advise you to go out and, uh, and watch these movies yourself and make your own judgment on it. So, what I got to say, um, now what would I give as a rating? Huh. Uh, I'm gonna give it a three. I can't. I can't with good judgment give it anything higher um, because, like I said, it did not live up to expectations, um, and um, it's just not as good as uh, as as my childhood. It did not. It did not make me sit there and go, "I'm happy to watch it because it's my childhood living it all over again." No, it did not do that to me. And if a movie that comes out from my childhood, uh, TV shows from my childhood comes out. You know, I want I want to be excited about going to watch it. Plus, when I watch, I want to be excited afterwards to go get it on DVD. And I gotta be honest, when that Tuesday comes around, when the release comes at Walmart, it's not gonna be a movie I'm gonna be going running down, putting it in my basket, and taking to the checkout stand. That's just how it is. Um, but besides that, if it was a cute movie, kids seem to like it. But today's generation was not raised up on Smurfs like us 80s kids and and the 70s kids and you know those kids so this is how it goes um so yeah three three bears out of five for smurfs lost village catch you guys later description below hit that like button comment whatever you want to do peace if you watched the movie and you liked it and you disagree with me let me know because i want to see why you like it but i didn't okay catch you guys later peace